you guys it is Kim here welcome back to our channel as you can see it's just me um, I'm here by myself because I know this video is long overdue please don't please don't come at me right now I just I don't need it okay I don't even have an excuse I just yeah. anyways I am here to show you guys my wash and go routine okay if you wanted to achieve a wash and go that looks like this um, please continue to watch okay um, I posted something on Snapchat, or no, Snapchat, no, it was Instagram. To see if you guys wanted to see this video, a lot of you see, ugh, a lot of you said yes, so here we are. I'm gonna show you how I achieved this look, this hair look. Don't mind the shirt, I said uh, later in the video, it's from oil. I always wear like a t-shirt whenever I do my hair because I put a lot of oil in it, okay? Um, but yeah, it's nice seeing you guys, we missed you trying to think of you know more videos well I missed you I know my sister did too but you know we're trying to think of more videos to post for you guys so stay tuned for those um is there anything else I wanted to say for the intro I don't think so let's get into it okay guys so here is my messy hair um my hair has been twisted for the past I'd say two weeks now um, I just took it out the other day and I've just kind of been wearing it out, you know, in different styles as a twist out, but now it's definitely time to have a wash. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys my wash and go routine. It's going to be a little bit different than what I usually do, but I'll still show you just because I'm trying some things out and testing some things out. But I just wanted to show you how my hair looks before I get in the shower. Um, right now my hair is really dry, especially towards the ends. So it's definitely time for a wash. I need to moisturize it and everything. So I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair, and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so I just finished washing my hair. The shampoo that I use is called, what is it called? Um, clarifying shampoo. You can get it from Walmart. Um, it comes in like, you know, a pretty big size. Um, it's kind of like a bluish clearish type of shampoo and they also come with a clarifying conditioner as well um i didn't use a clarifying conditioner because i ran out but i did find um at dollar tree that they have a pretty good conditioner it comes in a purple bottle just for a dollar and i like using it if i can remember the name i'll put it down in the description box but anyways so i'm about to do my wash and go routine um i just throw on an old shirt you can see it has like oil stains and stuff from before whenever i do my hair or whatever i just hate when my hair is wet and it touches my clothes and stuff i don't know i'm weird so i always put on an old shirt and then um i leave this towel wrapped around because i don't like it being wet but i'm gonna take my hair out um as you can see this is how my hair looks um, just got out the shower. My hair literally absorbs absorbs moisture really fast. Yeah, before we get started, I just want to tell you guys that everybody's curl pattern and everybody's curly hair is different. Um, and I had to learn this a hard way when I was growing up and I was trying to, you know, go on YouTube and find different ways that I could do my curly hair. And I quickly learned that if I copy someone else's curly hair routine, it just wouldn't work for my hair. Um, some people have looser curls, some people have um, tighter curls like me, some people have um, dry hair, some people don't. So you just honestly have to figure out what products are best for your hair. So um, this curly hair routine might not work for you. Some products might, some might not. So you just need to kind of be patient and just figure out what hair products really work for your hair. Trust me. I just want to say that because when I was younger, I would get frustrated um, because I couldn't figure out what to do with my hair. And I think it was because I was just trying to copy all the YouTubers if they had curly hair. But the truth is, all of our hair is different. So just be patient finding your products. I have two ponytail holders because um, it's important that you put your hair in a section. So. I'm gonna split my hair down the middle. It already has a pre-part. My heart, my hair usually stays parted in the middle for some reason, no matter what. But okay, so we're gonna part it in half. Put this side up. And then I'm just gonna take a small section and I'm gonna start from the back. Okay, so I have to admit that my curly hair routine usually changes this depends on what products I have and everything like that so um, this is a little bit different from my usual um, but today I figured I would try something different it's 
um, so I'm gonna try the lock method L O C lock method so um, L stands for liquid or you can use leave-in conditioner basically anything that has water as a base um, you can use so for my hair specifically I'm going to wet it first so this is a little bit of water with conditioner mixed in it it's always important to leave your hair soaked like well at least for me my hair needs to be soaked whenever I'm doing a wash and go routine just for your curls to be defined and everything like that and if your hair is dry and soaks up moisture you also want to make sure that your hair is wet whenever you are applying products and things in your wash and go routine or it just won't come out right I had to learn that the hard way um, okay so now that we have the liquid in the next step is oh it's oil now this is something that I usually do not do in my um, wash and go routine but I'm curious to see if it'll make a difference so um, as we know like oil and water do not mix so the oil putting it on top of the water is supposed to um, lock that water and lock that moisture in so I'm gonna go second with oil and I am using coconut oil gotta get my ends because my ends are specifically dry Make sure you use a good amount. And now that we have that, we are going to go in. And I always use this kind of brush. Sorry, it has like my hair stuck in it and stuff. But I always use this kind of brush. I don't like to use a denim brush or anything. I don't really use a wide tooth comb. I always use this. And I just find that it, de it detangles my hair pretty well. So I'm just going to go through and brush it before I put the rest of the products in. Um, so next I'm going to put Cantu Moisturizer, oh, Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I'm gonna put that on my hair next. Look how long my hair is, guys. Shrinkage is real. Shrinkage is definitely real, and I hate that. I'm gonna put a little bit more in, especially on the ends. And also, too, that's um, different between curly hair is the amount of product that you use, too. Like, um, I had to learn for the longest time that I have to put loads of product in my hair in order for my hair to even absorb a little bit so um it just it differs from person to person so if you need to put more product in your hair do it if it's gonna weigh your hair down or whatever then you know put a little bit less but you need to figure out what's best for you so i put a lot in next thing i'm gonna try which i've never ever tried before i'm probably late but it's multicultural curls by miss jesse and um, I just went to Walmart and I saw it and I figured I would try it just because I did hear some good things about this um, this brand and I just figured I would try it out so I'm gonna put this on last hmm. I thought it was gonna be more like a um, oh it's a styling lotion hmm. I thought it was gonna be more like a gel Yes, that works okay so I'm going to repeat the process in sections um, and I'll probably just fast forward it just so you don't have to watch me do this all the time first impression you open we should be closer to friends if you open engaging you on my agenda request my chariot get ya the doors open take that high road and hop in monarch butterflies you should open up i'm trying to put your heart together found it broken up going up in smoke smoking up make sure the children in the house she's inappropriate the way she's approaching us i disassociate exfoliate the renegotiate she's closing up come to visit me she said that she the loneliest and it's hard to open up 
Open you up like a pokeball. Open up, tear you out for a pokeball. Let your emotions fall, fall on me. Open up. Open up. You open up. Bitch, you won't be me and We should be closer than friends. Uh. If you OP and uh, engaging, you's on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The doors OP and uh, take that hot road and hop in. Uh. Open up, uh, open up. Uh, Shut it down like a bag of Open up, open up, OP, OP. Open up. Okay, guys. So, um, I just finished my entire head. Um, sorry, I'm like trying to my hair shed, so I'm trying to throw the rest of the hair away. But it's all my fingers. But um, yeah. So I just finished. The rest of my hair so this is something that i got from my sister honestly um whenever she does her wash and go routine she likes to put her hair into two ponytails because i think she feels like it stretches it out maybe a little bit more and then um it's not everywhere while it's wet so um i am doing the same thing especially because my hair is soaked right now um and so i want to talk real quick about diffusing and diffusers because I know whenever um, I first, you know, started doing my curly hair and things like that, oh my gosh, I thought a diffuser was going to save my life. No, let me tell you. Because all the, all the people that I would watch who would use diffusers, their curls are like elongated. When the hair is wet, the hair is really thin. It barely even looks curly when it's wet. And then when they go and use a diffuser, it just forms these beautiful curls and I thought it was gonna do that for me and that was not the case so typically at this part I would diffuse but I stopped diffusing because first of all you see how how much shrinkage I have in my hair okay so if I take a diffuser especially with heat and push it up like this it's really gonna be short like so um, that's one reason why I don't use a diffuser and two my hair is already has really tight curls and um, so I don't really need, you know, to form curls, I already have curly hair. The thing that I wanted with the diffusing is, you know, definition, which I do think it does help with definition. But, um, so if I do use a diffuser, I don't really use heat. Um, I'll probably use cool and maybe warm air. I try to stay away from hot heat and, um, I don't really, you know, pull up like this. I'll just kind of diffuse, maybe do a little bit at the bottom. And then hold like the warm heat up here and stretch it and hold it down here just so your hair stretched. But for this routine, no, I will not be using a diffuser. I'm going to let my hair air dry and I will try and wait as long as I can. My hair takes forever to dry. But, um, you know, maybe when it's 50 to 90% wet, I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay. What's up, you guys? So it's a couple hours later, and to be honest, my hair is probably about 50% dry, maybe less than that. It's still pretty damp, but um, to be honest, my hair is never fully dry until the next day. So, you know, I don't want to wait too long. I really want to drop this video because it's been long overdue, man. I think I posted um a post on my snapchat asking if people would be interested and people said yes and then you know it's probably been a month and what was i doing i don't even have an excuse you know like i washed my hair multiple times it's just you know i don't even have an excuse i, I don't i don't but anyways yes um hair is still pretty wet but um I will say it does feel, you know, pretty moisturized using the lock method. I'll have to um, maybe put down in the description box with what lock means or whatever. But honestly, you can go on Pinterest and look it up if you haven't heard of it. It's just a method for, you know, moisturizing your hair and keeping moisture locked in. Um, so these are the results.
open up. You open up. Hit you one baby and We should be closer than friends. If you open up. are interested in seeing any other hair videos from me or my sister please comment down and let us know we are trying to think of different ideas and one thing that we are really interested in and passionate about is our hair because it took us so long to even figure out how to style our hair and do our hair and different things like that what products worked what didn't um just anything under the sun that you can imagine it was really hard for us to learn how to do our hair so we are willing to show you guys how we do it kind of help you out especially if you're just starting your natural hair journey or you know just starting to embrace your curls um just leave any questions you might have down below we will be more than happy to answer them like share subscribe to our channel if i didn't say it already honestly i can't remember and yeah we will see you guys in the next video